everyone, it's Claudia. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm so excited to be filming this video because it's going to be basically a part two of my thrift with me for a week video that I posted recently and you guys seem to really enjoy that which made me very happy because it was a lot of thrifting, a lot of filming, a lot of editing. I'm going to show you guys all of the pieces that I bought during that week of thrifting and I'm also going to do a try on portion styling these just to show you guys some ideas I guess of how I would wear it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos every week and you can also follow me on Instagram if you'd like to check out some outfit photos, how I would style these pieces and others and then you can also check out my online vintage shop where you can potentially purchase some of these pieces. So. Yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so the first piece I got is this amazing Calvin Klein jeans mini skirt. I just absolutely love the color of this. I love that it's like a black denim um, with this sort of faded pattern or like faded texture almost. It also has a slit on the back, which I think just adds a little nice element. And my favorite part of it is the button at the front, which is a really nice kind of brass color. And then it has this like red stone in it, which was just so unexpected. It just adds like a pop of color, which could be really stunning with whatever top I end up wearing with it. I think it's a very classic, like 90s, 2000s style denim mini skirt. The next thing I got was another skirt, and I should probably mention this. I ended up getting a lot of skirts on these thrift trips. I happened to find a lot of really good pieces and couldn't leave them behind. So the next skirt I got it was just this really long, black skirt and it has kind of like drawstrings at the front so you can adjust it and it has a pocket at the front which I thought was very cool kind of different and it goes all the way through um, so it just seems very very cozy for fall and I think it'd be absolutely perfect with some knee-high boots uh, also has an amazing long slit at the back and it's a very soft like sweater fleece material so it will definitely be very warm for fall and even into winter it's very sporty but very minimal as well the next thing i got those of you that have watched the thrift with me i think you probably were just as obsessed with these shoes as i am i got a pair of splash kind of like wedged heels i guess i don't know they have like a thick block wood heel um they're denim with these really cool studs on the side and a buckle on the front and these are just iconic. They literally look like they're dead stock, never worn, which is just even better. Yeah, I'm very excited for these. They are just such a perfect kind of fall color combination. But I think they can be really good for spring and summer as well. Continuing on with our kind of 90s, 2000s styles and definitely a major trend right now. I ended up also finding this amazing blue mini skirt. I absolutely love the color of it. It's such a stunning statement piece. It also has some pockets at the front and on the back. And to my surprise, it actually comes with built-in shorts as well. It looks so good, styled with knee-high boots, and I think it can definitely look really good with something like these shoes. Um, yeah, I feel like it's just such a fun piece. And like I said, definitely on trend now as well. Okay, the next item I have is actually a top and if you guys have seen some of my other videos, you know that I'm obsessed with vests. It's a little difficult to show you. It's a little bit difficult to wear as well, but it's this really cool open back kind of halter style vest. Uh, has this amazing buckle at the back. It kind of lies on your upper back, which is a really nice detail. I also don't have any vests that are in kind of a more like suit style color. Like this is a very nice light gray with white pinstripes. So it's very like kind of office vibe. Most of my vests are kind of just like black or white, very simple. And I wear vests a ton, so I'm excited to try styling one that's a little bit different. So I got another skirt um, and this one is just incredible. It's a very simple, minimal kind of black linen skirt. So it's kind of on my lower hips slash waist, so it's more of like a low rise skirt, but it has an incredible pocket detail at the front. It has like the silver ring and kind of like a flower cutout which looks so stunning, so I know I'll be wearing it a lot, and I think the pocket detail is just very fun and kind of flirty. I think, again, perfect for spring, summer, or fall, so definitely a very versatile piece. Okay, now to switch things up, I ended up getting, I think, only one purse on this whole week of thrifting, which is good, because I have a purse obsession and I have too many, 
but this one is very minimal again. I absolutely love the shape of it. It's very rectangular, it's very structured. On the front and on the back, it's this really soft kind of leather material, which makes it very kind of classic and timeless. And then on the side, you can see there's like this nylon material. And with a thin strap, I think it gives it a bit more of like a sporty look, an edgy look that way, which I thought was really cool. And it'll just go with anything, so absolutely love that. Moving on to some other fun pieces. I also got this incredible long sleeve blouse, and this is actually an Anne Fontaine piece. It's just a really incredible piece, and this one's a bit more like fun and flirty, maybe girly as well. Uh, the sleeves have this really nice kind of chiffon texture at the end, um, and they flare out, so that's really fun. And that kind of continues on the collar as well, and down the front, which I think is just so stunning honestly for work, for like a dinner or something, for going out. I've also tried styling this piece with some of the buttons at the bottom open and then like with low rise jeans and it looks really good. So I'm very excited about this piece. Okay, then I got another skirt and this one again, I think is just very timeless really. It's a really incredible denim skirt and this one's more of a midi length which is why I also really liked it. It's a bit different for me. It has an incredible slit on the back as well. The best part about this skirt is the fact that it's like a medium to dark toned kind of denim, but it has gold glitter and gold kind of stitching throughout, which I think just makes it have such a nice contrast. And again, just reminds me of like a very 90s, early 2000s piece. I've already worn this one a couple times, so I know that I love it. It fits me really well and I'll definitely be wearing it a lot more. This next piece, I think, is one of the most special pieces I've ever thrifted. It's this incredible black beaded top, and it reminds me so much of like a Paco Rabanne piece. It's just very like party um, style and like going out. I don't know, it, I think it's such a fun piece. I think this looks great with like a black bralette underneath with a bandeau or something. Um, if you want to go all out, then maybe without one. It looks really great with a skirt, with jeans. You could definitely dress up a look and just make it very fun for going out. So, love this piece. I'm very excited to wear it more. Okay, I'm in love with this next piece as well. It is a stunning Sonia Raquel Paris blazer. It's like the most beautiful cream off-white color. And the fabric is a very nice kind of satin silky fabric, um, like the collar for example, you can see is a bit more shiny. I think it's just such a beautiful piece. Um, it's like the perfect kind of cream tuxedo, very timeless with the color, with the style, everything, and it could definitely be worn, made a little bit more fun with like a black bralette underneath, and I would probably wear this with jeans and then like black heels or something. Yeah, I think it's a stunning piece. The buttons are also really nice, they're like a oxidized kind of brass color and then they just say SR. Potentially it'll go up in my shop, but yeah, I definitely want to play around with it and style it, style it a bit more. This one, again, is very sort of different for me. It's a really stunning Danny piece. It has a really nice chocolate brown color and this almost like floral slash western kind of like, I don't know, it gives me a bit of like cowgirl vibes um, kind of pattern on the front. And I think it's just such a stunning detailed piece, like the stitching in it is very light and pretty and these shapes are incredible. Um, and then the back is very simple, it's just the suede. Yeah, I don't really own anything like it, so I'm very excited to find that. So the next piece I have is one necklace that I bought, which I really love these kinds of necklaces and I've definitely been collecting a lot of them recently. It's just a really simple uh, glass heart, clear but with like silver and gold details so I think it kind of has a nice contrast it has a bit of like an elegant feel to it just because of the metallics but then it came on this like leather braided rope I think it's a very pretty piece um, yeah I'm excited to wear it okay the next thing I have was a little bit unexpected I've actually been looking for something like this for a long time I bought a pair of lace pants and these are like completely see-through as you can see um, they are a bit of like a wide leg fit, which I actually really like. They fit like a bit high-waisted and they have a zipper on the side, but they're like almost made for me. Like they're, they fit me really well. 
and my whole idea with these is that I really wanted a pair of lace pants that I could layer under other pants or under skirts. And I know that might seem kind of weird, but I just had this vision for a long time. And this is the closest I've gotten to finding a pair of pants like that, so I was very happy to find these. I think it's a good kind of experimentation for fall styling with like layering. Okay, next thing, I ended up getting this really nice green sweater as well. And I absolutely love it because the color kind of fades at some points into more of like an acidic green. I believe this is merino wool, so it's a very good quality piece as well, um, made in Italy. And yeah, it's just stunning. It has like little elements of ribbing on the elbows and kind of at the hips. I love that this can be worn also like over the shoulders or something. I think it's very pretty or just as a regular sweater or even like around the waist or something, and especially now that we're going into fall. So the next piece you may have seen in my Quebec road trip vlog, if you watched that, um, because I actually took this with me, a long sleeve top. And what I love about it is it's actually like a mesh fabric. So the body of it generally is pretty solid because it has an inner lining that kind of just thickens the mesh. So it's not exactly see-through, but the sleeves are. And the sleeves are also like bell sleeves, so they get wider at the end, uh, which I love. I love that kind of flare. I also love the neckline of it. I don't own many tops that are kind of off the shoulder. So this one I think is really nice because you can definitely wear it. Normally you can wear it one shoulder off the shoulder. And the color is just stunning. It's like a very warm brown color. So I think it's very pretty. And again, I've already worn it. Oh, I love it. I got this incredible escada piece and it's kind of like a light coat slash blazer slash it could honestly be a dress and I think this is incredibly timeless as well in terms of the style of it. Um, it's a little bit different for me because it has short sleeves as a blazer. It looks great buttoned up or left open and then it has this really nice lining inside so yeah I think it's an incredible piece. Very unexpected to find two designer blazers in one trip, but yeah, I'm very excited about this one. Another really incredible piece was this Weekend by Max Mara blazer, and it's a really incredible linen jacket, so it's very light. Again, spring, summer, fall, perfect. Um, and it's in this really stunning kind of natural, like beige or off-white color, so it's very pretty. Um, has shell buttons, which I really like. It's a little bit more oversized and kind of boxy fit, which is definitely my style. I think this will go great, like even over a vintage t-shirt or something. I think it'd be a really good look um, over a dress. I also got a really great vintage denim skirt kind of staple. I think this is perfect for fall. It's a very long, like basically ankle length skirt. And I love the kind of structured fit of it. It's definitely like a pretty thick denim. Uh, it has a really nice pocket at the front. It has a sporty kind of vibe to it. I think it could look great with like a vintage t-shirt. Um, Knee-high boots again would look great with this. Even my like strapped wedges that I've been wearing a lot recently I think would look great with this. And again, you know, I love the back slit. I think it's so stunning. 